Hello everyone and welcome back to our Viking Saga. So uh, today we are gonna continue with um, Lantern Ride, which we started a couple days ago. And uh, we have had some introduction quest of oh, talking. Uh, we talk with some people at the harbor, who are uh, some ladies uh, who were probably leading the city, and some other people as well, which uh, were famous. So maybe we already met them. Um, so uh, then we <laughs> were asked to so deliver something to a character with name Coming. Um, still funny name. Uh, which we did, and he told us to go with him to some other place. Now, uh, when I was uh, ending my uh, recording a couple of days ago, um, three days ago, I said I'm gonna try open some teleports, and I did. So I did open this one. Um, no, sorry, this one. Yeah, this one uh, above. Yep, uh, this one above uh, the Liyue Harbor, slightly on to the right. And I noticed there is a big mountain, which, you know, it's it's a big mountain. It's, I'm, I'm sitting in Mondstadt and I think you can actually, like, see that big mountain over there. It's like, yeah, what's there? Is, is that the valley? No, it's a big mountain. Come on, dude. Never mind, it was my internal monologue uh, at that time. So I suppose um, there is a quest in there which probably starts in here because there is a road in here and we have some exclamation marks as a quest givers in there as well. And I did not see particular road in, in this area from quickly studying the map. So I, I opened this one and then I opened that one. And it, oh my goodness, what a wonderful location. I actually was like kind of sorry that I'm not recording because um, uh, it was, wow, it was wow, it was wow effect for me kind of loud. I really, really look forward to that. <clears throat> it was kind of hard because I basically ran on the road, uh, more or less, uh, opened this and this teleport, and then somewhere in here I started climbing and. And I fell and died and you know it was hard so uh, I want to return that uh, to, to that region recording with some quest probably and I want to show you uh, the original location in China which serves as I'm, I'm sure as a template for this uh, spiky mountains really, really, really nice uh, and nice music as well and as you may notice, there's a teleport in here. Um, when I opened those map, I quickly ran through my characters and uh, I noticed because obviously I, I saw this and this and yeah, this. <laughs> uh, so I quickly run uh, those needs uh, on leveling them up and I uh, actually did level up my Bennett to level 50. Bennett. So now um, I need adventure rank 30 which is in, in few minutes more or less. I need more of this uh, pyro flower and uh, funny thing um, <laughs> the same way as it's not wise to attack a uh, cryo flower with Kea it's not smart to attack pyro flower with Bennett because yep you know why <laughs> so i uh, level up Bennett on level 50 now uh, i'm missing some of those uh materials for kea i am missing some of those materials for Bennett as, as well as flower um, sorry sing you as flowers and as well as Bennett. and of course i'm missing mine but I assume I will get my own uh, level 30 of the uh, adventure rank. Cool. 
So uh, that's why uh, there is one exclamation mark hanging in here because I wanted to claim the reward according. Now uh, let's get back to our uh, London Rhine quest. We are supposed to go to this location and weirdly there is a teleport open here and I did not do that. Um, so let's teleport. I should have teleported before uh, to load the area to my memory because my computer is slow. Um, sorry for that. Okay, and it basically froze. Carps rest, okay. And it froze again. What is happening? Oh, hello. Okay, so what was happening is some loading of this area, I suppose, I don't know. Um, I'm just kind of um, assuming that Adeptus is some form of mystical, magical being here in this game, because those guys in Harbor are also saying something about Adeptus and those girls as, as, as well, as I remember. Uh, probably. And uh, I, I kind of like the idea that uh, she's living in the teapot. If, if that's not uh, some translation problem. And uh, I already spoke about that in my previous video. Uh, it's weird that those magical beings, those adeptus, are calling themselves uh, by third person. So, like, one's, uh, one's name is Fuj Fujin. Um, okay, hello. So you can enter the area only when you're delivering the quest, when you're delivering the, the goods with Angamink. Okay. My uh, my name was carried here by the fish that swim, and I have thus a long anticipated my visit. Your, your, your visit. So there's this like s s fishy business between Monstad and Lue. They're like, hey, oh, hey, there's this this guy in Monstad, and he saved the city from dragon. And the second fish is like, what's a dragon? And the first <laughs> fish is like, what? Well, that's a that's magical being that flies. And the first fish is, what's flying? <laughs> explain, explain flying to fish. <laughs> oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, okay, please speak. Well, I assume it's something you learned during your Liwe visit, which I did not uh, done yet. Sorry. Uh, so, it's like good water with plenty of fish from Bonstad. Uh, yeah, sure. And I, I like this this uh, answer. I hear, I hear a bat incoming. <laughs> So they are afraid of quality dripping, okay. So 
So she, she's just uh, some magical being locked in some pond with the pot with carbs. I mean, I thought carbs have more Japanese than Chinese. Oh, never mind. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, this, this is funny. Um, <laughs> Uh, first of all, I'm not expert on water and soil, that's technically correct, though I garden a lot, a little bit. Um, but I like that, um, that, uh, that she's asking if there is a problem that I can solve with a lot of violence, because sometimes a lot of violence solves all the problems if you are waking. And I am waking. I mean, I'm not covered by nature, this game is for kids. Okay. It's nice to meet you too. <laughs> Happy Lantern, right? I'm, I'm sorry being ignorant, but I never actually uh, uh, heard that phrase. Though I assume there are some people in different parts of the world who never heard of Merry Christmas or um, Happy New Year because they have different systems and that's completely fine. I kind of like it. Okay. So she's giving me some power. Um, So I can briefly transform into carp. Okay. Okay. So that's a fish that can fly. <laughs> okay. Sure. Man. <laughs> but there are fish flying in here, so I use her option to the domain. Okay. So that's the T button right here. And I go to the achievement front. You see a golden, can you hear me? If you see a golden. So anything golden is like important. Oh, you're back? Jeez, guys, where'd you go? One moment you were there, the next you disappeared. You scared the life out of me. Fair enough. <laughs> well, the mountain road is pretty hazardous, and it's easy to get lost in the fog. So from here on out, stay close to me. Got it! Let's keep going! Okay. Kind of like that uh, we have teleported to the location <laughs> in here, and now we are in here. I assume there is a pond nearby with uh, some fish. Some carp. Oh, and that's a berry, and you know what? Always eat the berry if you can. Now let's open this uh, teleport. So we will have uh, more more view. Hello. Yes, I have a noble heart. Thank you very much. Okay. It's interesting that those um, uh, I don't know how to go call them. Uh, I suppose they are from Jade, if they, because that's called Jade Mouth. <laughs> but therefore, they are actually uh, painted on the map, and you can actually, yeah, 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 you can you can actually see them over there. It's interesting. Uh, straight. Okay. The docks are just a bit further. One step at a time. Hang in there. Oh. Yep. 
Wait, and get behind me. I'll handle this. Oh, hello. You... Oh, just... Um, okay. So we got the trial on uh, this character. With a big sword. <laughs> Congratulations! Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Just hit, hit, oh, I'm just gonna hit the buttons. Sorry. That's that's wild. At least. There are more of them, okay. Oh man. Mighty mythical beast! Yeah, thanks for thanks for the trial. It was it was <laughs> wild. Hey, seems like we really can't go anywhere without running into treasure hoarders, can we? Yeah, it's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. Paimon was impressed by your moves back there. You seem like a real pro at your job. Oh, <laughs> that's not a skill I learned on the job. It's just a hobby. Have you ever heard of wushou dancing? No, sorry. Really? Wushou dancing is famous in Chenyu Vale. Okay. Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. It's a nice tradition. But I must admit, it has nothing on the popularity of the Li Yue Opera. There's an opera in Liu. Okay. I'm also well aware that people in Liyue Harbor aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch wushou dancing. So, it's not something I do full-time. Huh? You have two jobs? How do you have the energy to do all that? Uh, you'll be surprised that a lot of people have two jobs. Some people have three jobs and even more. And some people are freelancers and make multiple jobs. For example, me. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> it's not that tiring. You just have to take a rest. That's a true. Ah, Paimon gets it, so you must sleep a lot. That's a true as well. <laughs> not really. Just yesterday I stayed up all night playing cards. Oh. Uh let's go. The docks are just up ahead. Okay. Not exactly role model we're in. Okay. It's a classy way of uh, traveling. Finally, we can rest. Oh, Paimon's shoulders are so stiff, and her stomach so empty. <laughs> That's a funny boat. <laughs> I feel like classical chair. Sorry, sorry. Did I push the pace a bit too much? I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. Yeah, but she's the food, really? food expert. Just up and down so much. Where's Paimon now? Oh, Paimon was finally satisfied, and now her poor stomach's empty again. Oh, would you like some winter melon cake? I have some on me that I bought from a store. Yes, Paimon will take all you got. Uh, you might want to pace yourself there, or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. <sighs> never gets too full just like oh just like you apparently never get tired no matter how far you walk or how many jobs you work ah i see then here you go paimon and for you traveler enjoy and here's some for you too uncle bosu don't think i forgot about you my friend 
I'll just set it to the side here for you. It's a nice he he uh, service people. <sighs> that hit the spot. Paimon thought she was going to starve to death for a minute there. Yeah. We wouldn't mind. <laughs> that close of a call, huh? Huh. <sighs> I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. You can buy them from all sorts of places, whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road or a big restaurant in the city. But each place produces cakes with a slightly different flavor. If you like these ones, I can give you the address of the shop I bought them from. I'll just have to check when we get back. <laughs> oh, oh, all my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really, I won't be offended. Okay, Paimon is kind of enjoying listening to your chitter-chatter. Aww, a fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? <laughs> hey, Paimon could be in a good mood anytime she wants! <laughs> That's a funny joke. Nevertheless, uh, he is energetic. He speaks like uh, he drank uh, some coffee with Red Bull. Woohoo! We're here! Don't forget your things and uh, watch your step as you get off the raft or you're in for a swim. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice Thanks soundtrack for the as ride, well. Uncle Bosu. You take care of yourself now. I'll see you some other time. Okay, follow me. This way is fastest. We'll have to take the elevator up to the secure transport agency. Okay. Okay. Um, sure. I, I, I know I'm, I, was, I was like laughing uh, about these chairs, but it's a nice form of transportation. <laughs> I assume it's um, and there's some root origin in real world as well. I can imagine, or I may have even seen some video or images from rural parts of Asia. Not sure if China or Vietnam <clears throat> or different country as well. Um, I, I definitely think I saw some friends were in Vietnam. I, if I remember correctly, with sort of similar similar technology by i mean by bamboo's boats with <clears throat> a person who is um a rider of the, i don't know how how, how is the, 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 the uncle bosu <laughs> with the big bamboo stick there um so i'm where i'm going this looks like a windmill Or maybe not. Oh, that's a lift. Oh, come on, quickly, quickly. Ooh. That's a clever lift. It's a nice uh, view with the waterfall, actually. Do you know the anxiety when you are in a lift with. Uh, <laughs> doors on the both sides and you're like okay which door are gonna open that one or that behind me and will i look foolish when i you know when, when the doors open i'll be facing like what's yeah. yeah there was a, a study once um how people uh, i'm gonna describe that uh, how are people influenced by other people in a society? And the study was that there was the elevator and when the door opened, all the other uh, guys, you know, it was like 10 people in the elevator already, and all were facing the direction uh, you are facing when you are entering the elevator. So uh, the, the door that opened were on, on their backs. And then the person like entered 
the elevator and I was like confused. And the study was uh, whether you turn yourself uh, in, uh, you know, face forward to door that opened, which is usual in an elevator, or if you succumb to all the other people in the elevator and you actually join them looking to the back of the elevator. And those interesting numbers. I don't remember them, so I won't be public. Public is saying those, but um, hey, yep. slow down. I'm begging you. Okay. What is it? No one's gonna try any funny business when the street is this packed, right? Oh, well, uh, how should I put it? Come on, spit it out! Do you see that group of people over there? Okay, which one? Those are my relatives. <laughs> wow, you sure have a big family. Okay, oh, okay. Once they start buying things, they won't stop perusing till it gets dark. This is bad. They're your family, not your arch enemies. <laughs> What's there to be afraid of? Unless... Oh, did you do something horrible to them? No, it's not that. I'm just... not that good at dealing with my family. It would be best if we could steer clear of them. I'll explain more when we have the chance, but... right now, we've got a job to do. Okay. We are the going to be side looks pretty packed. Let's go straight. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> it's the same mechanics we have in uh, Monster Church, if I remember correctly, when we were stealing the holy. Liar, or whatever, him, him or her god, or whatever. Yeah, something like that. I mean, let's wait here for a second. Maybe my aunt will leave. <laughs> uh, there's the roof, right? They can like jump on the roof. I know it's kind of suspicious, but. Impressed. Ah, it was easy. Easier than uh, stealing the liar in the Monster Church. That was nothing. It was a piece of cake. Oh, it was your melon cake to be exact. <laughs> and we are back at food again. You really liked it, huh? Ooh, you know what? I'll buy you a whole bunch and pile them so high you can swim in them. As long as you don't wind up drowning, Paimon. <laughs> Hey, Uncle Drigway. These are my friends, the Traveler and Paimon. They came to deliver some goods with me. Uh, actually, I didn't catch that name, sorry. Uh, I would pronounce it Jigui? Jigui? Jigai? I don't know what he said. So, I guess I'll go ahead and take these over to Uncle Yongzan then? Yes. Thanks for your hard work. I should thank you both for your trouble as well. Please take a seat and rest for a bit. I'll prepare some tea. No need. We'll be off soon anyway. Hey, we're already here, aren't we? No harm in taking a load off for a bit. Plus, I know the Secure Transport Agency has some great Songwa tea stash around here somewhere. I promise you, one sip and you'll be hooked. Uh, I suppose that uh, this uh, location or this quest is suited for me. Since there is some tea business in here. Anyway, you just sit down and relax, Uncle Jurgway. Who would I be if I just sat here and let you go through all this trouble? Leave this to me. 
I have to be up and about to drop these goods off anyway. What's a little extra time on my feet? Oh, you aren't too picky, right, Traveler? I know Paimon prefers things on the sweeter side, so I won't steep the tea too long. And I'll add some dim sum pastries on the side. Uh, there is child logic How long for you. Have you two known Gami? Uh, about five minutes. <laughs> oh, not long at all. We just kind of tagged along on his trip to Yilong Wharf. Yeah. He's just a super welcoming guy. We became friends, you know, just like that. Well, I wish it would work like that in the real world. <laughs> That's just how he is. He's the attentive sort really knows how to look after his own. A while ago, one of our guards had to take off work. He said his joints were hurting due to the rain. Gaming personally went all the way to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get some medicine for him from Dr. Baiju, then traveled through the night to deliver it back to him. That young man has such a good head on his shoulders. How can anyone not love him? I mean, there is his dad, but, well, ask anyone um. else. I'm not under undermining the deed, but uh, couldn't you just take the teleport? Like here and there. Uncle Yongzan says he doesn't have the personnel to spare for this delivery right now. So what do you think, Uncle Jirigui? Should I go ahead and deliver it instead? Ah, it feels like we've troubled you enough already. It's kite making materials, though. It could be for a kid. I'm sure the sender wants it delivered before Lantern Ray. Oh, uh, by the way, here, have some tea. All right, then. Deliver it if you want to. Ooh, are you free in two days? How about we grab some dim sum from Shinya Kiosk? My treat, and don't even think about trying to pay. Whoa, that's way too generous of you. That's carte blanche you do not want to sign in. <laughs> Uh, don't mention it. Just think of this as a thank you for all your help. Besides, the thing between me and my family, it's a long story. It might take some time to tell. Sounds good! Paima never says no to free food. Alright, then I'm off. See you in two days. I suppose oh, uh, it's a famous sure restaurant. Not to eat too much before then. Don't say I didn't warn you. Should I put it? Since he already plans to tell you himself, you don't need an old man like me to add my two cents. You seem to be around the same age, so you might have a lot in common. Perhaps you could help him talk things through. Consider it a favor to me. If you have the time, maybe you can make a little flag for us to wave about. It can say, we provide aid in spades. Couldn't hurt to advertise our services, right? <laughs> well, I can certainly arrange that. Is there anything else you wanted to say? So he's, he's like a flag maker? Wait, seriously? I'm almost just joking. But if you're going to get us something, she'd much rather have winter melon cake instead. <laughs> uh, seems like Gaming really has rubbed off on you. Would you like some more tea? I think there's some left. But the tea. We should see the kinds of kites they got. Maybe they'll have ones you can't find in Leo at Harbor. Was that Terminator Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yes. All right then. <laughs> Please do let me know if you'd like more tea. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. I would like some tea. Yeah, thank you. Always eat the berry and drink the tea. That is a wonderful life. Okay, walk around. Yes. Oh, you already had these. So let's walk around. Um, you already kind of walk. Never mind. Ah, what a 
are you doing here? Huh. The way you speak. One might have presumed you were displeased to be in one's presence. Okay, so... Apparently... It's an uh, adeptus, because she she is using uh, the, the, the third person one, and apparently we know. <laughs> uh, sorry. Oh, hello. Adepti. So they are using a uh, Latin uh, plural. It's, it's coming from Latin uh, way of. Okay. So she's passionate about uh, food, which is something in common with payment. And mechanism and engineering. Okay. A legendary adeptus who would marshal the winds to deliver the clothes. Marshal the winds to deliver the okay. Take note, Paimon. You could learn a thing or two about how to respect your elders. Ugh, starting on the elder stuff already, huh? Shouldn't you be back in your cave tinkering away at some kite related thingamabob or something? What brings you out here? Thingamababa. <laughs> Gets it. You're here to do some shopping, aren't you? And what of it? The Chishing's decision to integrate Fontanian technology into said kite flying competition is of no consequence to oneself. Did you expect one to willfully compete against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment, or perhaps even fall to petty sulking over such? Um, it's not that we think those things exactly. That's just what Mountain Shaper and Moon Carver told us, or Tia something and Ho. Oh, Paimon can't be bothered to remember what their aliases were called. <laughs> anyway, they went to Leela Harbor to look something for you. Coming with they even me. asked us to pass along their regards if we ran into you. Oh, huh. Tianyin? Huh. Here's time has quite flown since one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. How could one have forgotten about those two old fossils? <sighs> one shall have to bring them back some divine herbs to atone for this slight. Nay, given that one has ventured all this way to Yilong Wharf, tea would be more advisable. A great thought has illuminated one's mind once again. One is reminded that certain purchases have yet to be made. One's Perhaps mind once again one. <laughs> whilst one performs this task, it'll be but a moment. Huh? Wait here? You really just gonna ditch us here to watch your stuff? Oh, that woman really just does whatever she wants. Okay, Paimon, Paimon doesn't want anyone to try and steal the stuff. Welcome. Please have a look around. We only sell teas of the finest quality, sourced directly from Chaoying Village. Might I recommend the Songlo variety? It's one of our specialties. Now, that sounds promising. One will bring some back for those old fossils, and all will be well. Two boxes will do. Wonderful. By the way, we're actually running a special lantern right promotion. Buy three boxes, get 10% off. Four boxes will net you 20% off. Hmm. 20% off four boxes. This merchant strikes a fair bargain. One might as well give some to Morax and Ping, too. Then four shall suffice. Hmm, I see. Are you intending to give these as gifts? If so, perhaps I can interest you in these exquisite gift sets. Buy 10, get half off. Look at the magnificent design. And the red ribbon gives quite the festive flair, don't you think? Such a gift would be sure to impress any lucky friend or family member. Hmm, 10 boxes. Seems rather excessive. If 
but if one factors in the conqueror of demons and one's disciples... Hmm... Ten! Nice round number, don't you think? Of course you do. I'll even shave a little extra off the price for you. <laughs> that is agreeable. One will... Um, I will have these boxed up then. Of course, of course. Right away. I see you have quite the eye for fine items, mademoiselle. Perhaps some of my wares might also be of interest to you. I'm a toy merchant from Fontaine. You'll get nothing but the finest and most intricate clockwork toys Mora can buy here. Each one sure to be a source of endless amusement. I kind of like how she's on the spending spree, and I assume that it will end up that she's not having any money. <laughs> um, by the way, uh, the thing with multiplication of uh, resources is something done by a lot of uh, shops and especially e-commerce shops today. So watch yourself. That buy two or three and get some uh, discount. Uh, that's uh, happening a lot. Perhaps you could enlighten me then. When should said amusement be derived? <laughs> well, uh, that is, of course, best understood by playing with them yourself. If you could wait just a moment, I can bring one out and give you a demonstration. <laughs> there is no need for that. Uh... Mademoiselle. Give me your newest and finest model, and be sure to package it securely. Ah, oh, of course. Here you go. The instruction manual is... I can do without. Thank you. Oh, many watchful eyes surround this place. If one were to be spotted purchasing a mechanical toy such as this, a child's plaything, no less. Would only invite scandal. Just want to point out, uh, it does not bother me, but um, when they are doing this close up of the face, uh, you can kind of see that the face is more 2D than it would be appropriate, or uh, I don't know how to say it, but uh, I'm missing 3D uh, perspective of the face. If they are from uh, usual distance, let's say, it's more or less fine, it's the way the game is designed. But this close-up, uh, it's too too painful to, to watch. So, there's like the flat line of the eyes to, to just, just this small nose, it's anime style or whatever. And only, only a little bit of um, curvature of the face. That, that that's not enough. Uh, sorry. Uh, even though the glasses helps, because they they are in in three D perspective. Never, never mind. Sorry, it was just something that really, like stick to me in this particular and one before, but then uh, it uh, switched. But now as well. There is no harm in bringing it back to study in secret. Okay. <laughs> oh, Xinyin. Okay, so she did that. <laughs> Naturally. One may not delight in social interactions, but that does not mean one lacks said faculties. Mm. And you too? Are you not here to purchase things? We just haven't had time yet. It doesn't look like there are any kite stalls around Elong Wharf, but it does look like there are lots of goods from Fontaine. You are also planning to participate in the kite flying competition, then? <clears throat> One means to say, you along with all the other youths. One has been entreated to share one's kite making expertise, and indeed, there was little one could do about such persistent supplication. 
one moment energetic and earnest, and dejected the next. One had no choice but to acquiesce to these requests, and thus, one will be organizing a kite-making workshop to provide personal instruction in this art form. Okay. Oh, who will be participating then? Shuyu, Shenhe, Ganyu, and Yayo. Wow, that's quite a few people. That's four also, people? this is all pretty well, Xinyun, but it's not like you have to make your own kite to participate in the competition. You can't just buy one ready-made and call it a day. Ha! Huh. You speak of those equipped with the mechanical lifting device, do you not? <sighs> just nothing but a crude piece of mortal machinery. The mechanism that one has developed was the fruit of millennia, of meticulous study. Let us not speak of the source of the mechanism's power, but rather its structure. It is composed of materials as light as bamboo and as strong as iron. This composition grants it the lightness of weight to ascend into the sky and the durability to follow the wind for many a mile. It is built with a series of intersecting rods that... <sighs> Never mind. It is unlikely the two of you will understand, even should one expend the effort to explain. One is better off saving one's breath. Yeah, and that's the engineering part. <laughs> it sure seems like you want to talk about it, though. And as the engineering part as well. <laughs> so, will you be attending the workshop or not? Huh? Wait, you've been trying to invite us this entire time? All right then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. One has it all sorted. Arrive at Mount Altsong in two days. I shall be expecting you around midday. Are you leaving? Don't you want a guard to help you with that big box of yours? <laughs> Surely you jest. One goes as one pleases. For what reason would one need to rely on another? Uh, it can float? What kind of invention is that? <laughs> I just, um, I don't know if you know that guy's part. Uh, do you know those commercials that are like clickbaits? Like, doctors hate him. This is the kind of person that air, airlines hate. <laughs> How much does your suitcase weigh? Zero. Can you put it on a weight? Sure. Here. It's actually zero. <laughs> One calls it the floating toting device. <laughs> huh. Okay. She seems pretty proud of that one. Look at her walk down the street. She seems so confident, but everyone around her is looking at her all funny. Paimon wonders... Uh, never mind. But anyway, that box of hers seems to be full of those mechanical lifty thingamabobs. Uh, not that Paimon was peeking or anything, she just... Uh, got a bit unsteady for a second and accidentally brushed the embroidery on top. And wouldn't you know it? All the stuff inside almost came bursting out! Paimon even went out of her way to keep it all together. All Paimon say is that Xianyun sure does try hard to save face. What did she call it again? A crude piece of mortal machinery? Paimon bets she just can't wait to take it apart and see how it's made. Totally! We should probably act like we didn't see anything, though. You know, in consideration of her feelings and all. After all, that is the propriety with which one should comport oneself. When it comes to an elder, right? Okay. Part one completed. Whew. And we can... Okay. Okay, so now we have three uh, quests from the event, I assume, and one big quest from the event. Am I assuming that right? Um... I think we'll leave 
the visit visitation of Xinyul Kiosk or some dim sum to uh, the other day. But I'm kind of hesitant to try this one. Is this the is this the long quest? Because mm, what I'm thinking is uh, I'm recording for like 45, 50 minutes or something, and um, there won't be much uh, cutting out. So it's another 45 minutes of talks in this particular one. But and it is like a big reward, and usually in the large quests are a big reward, and this one is kind of small. So since I'm already like twenty meters away, I, I won't try. <laughs> I'm doing good. Oh, hello. Will we finally buy the? No, no, it's not kites. What was this? It's a fireworks. Okay. That's appropriate. My work originates in China. Fine, not particularly wrong. Okay. No, I haven't. Sorry. <laughs> Could you be talking about fireworks? I'm sorry, we did not buy it. Let's assume we did. Thinking they're missing some letters in here. It should be often. Okay, I mean, never drown your sorrows in liquor, but it's kind of funny. It's like you are, you are drinking and then this famous, the most famous hero, the savior of Mondstadt City is running around with fireworks. In that moment, you should consider giving up on drugs, all of them, and never take them together again. <laughs> Okay, that's good for you, I assume. Okay, I kind of like the idea that I'm giving up. I'm giving hope to all of people and I'm giving up in real life. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not sure I follow uh, what's, what's the meaning of this quest. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, always um, want to like help people, just even without the 
actual reward. That's that's normal in, in my consideration. I am I'm not sure. So this is the name she was talking about and it's some some sort of challenge. Somewhere somewhere. Shall we go? We shall go. Shall, shall quickly uh try try that and uh thinking maybe we can do some uh, wishing as well. So it was somewhere over here, right? So that's, that's the golden thing I'm supposed to... Yeah, that's the... Oh! Okay. And you can like point it anywhere you want, like down. Okay, can I go back? <laughs> that's cool. And it's faster than running around. What's, what's the proper direction now? So it's more or less this way. To try let's die let's just try r2 air style going up so we can like <laughs> that's cool i like it i like it there's a teleport in here as well change mm -hmm. <laughs> so this area is probably about T, I am looking forward for that. Oh, hello, Mr. Goat, or whatever you are. Sure. <laughs> Gameplay tutorial, okay. Uh, you served as a. Oh, sure. Briefly, I'll look at Libraries. Something marvelous may have. Okay. So what I'm supposed to do. Oh, it needs to. F oh, okay. That's okay. It needs to fly through, uh, through the this 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 thingy, this cauldron. Ah, I see. I was trying to light it up, you know, like being close to it or something. Okay. 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 Cool. 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 A reward on so the we got a chat for <laughs> for lighting up this uh, weird, weird cauldron. Um, you know, uh, sure, why not? Uh, collecting as many jade lotus lantern on the way to obtain a score as high as possible, okay. Detected so okay, so you don't want to pick them up, okay? Cunning complete cunning challenges, okay? Oh, uh, uh, whatever. I kind of I forget already. So, this. Flying clock. Is it a sand clock? I I think it's a sand clock. 
is a thing you can actually activate. I already saw some of them in um, in in the wild uh, before. So assuming like um, it's uh, yeah. Um, but before we go any further, I wanted to activate the teleport. <laughs> Just you know, must do because I will, I will forget. I will just it can like was there was some lantern so we can fly or something. Whatever. So that's the teleport in in here in in this area. Okay, let's go back. A lot of chests in here as well. Well, I, firstly, I need to pick up. <laughs> uh, I need to I need to pick um not pick up um I need to collect all the all the chests in Moonstone, right? And then Leo, of course. Uh, pick up this group, okay. Okay, so we want to miss the blue ones. Waiting for the perfect moment. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Perfect. Okay. It's not hard. Once you like understand what you're supposed to do and what you miss and so on. Ah, I kind of like the music. I like this music. Um, so it's not, it's it's something limited. <laughs> I I don't know if I did it or not. Perfect, okay. So yeah, I panicked and uh, didn't matter. <laughs> I don't want to collect those. Oh, perfect. Um, I missed them. Uh, I don't know what to do next time. Um, that's funny. I like it. Where are the fireworks? The place. They were talking about fireworks, but. Perfect. Cool. It's ending. Oh yeah, it's ending. Okay, so we, we missed something. <laughs> it's like three of them. Not mind. Uh, okay, I'll actually probably repeat it offline <laughs> because I kind of like that. Um, nice music, I, I like the music. So, uh, we have exclamation mark in here, which is the, the that's the quest, right? We have exclamation mark in here, and That's okay. So that's um, it's challenge. Right? Okay, so those those are the two are probably challenges as well, and those are quests that uh, mark. You know, you need to start that. Uh, you need to start that.
Uh, I'll navigate this so I won't forget about it um, later on. And now about some wishes. I was thinking about... Um... Oh, that's the lady we just met. <laughs> Hello. I didn't catch that. And this is the guy as well. Okay. But um, I was thinking... I, I don't know about those two. Uh, my uh, friend uh, told me to try uh, to... Um, uh, to try, to try wishing for Nahida. Uh, I don't know who that is. I don't know what's the power of hers uh, anyway. But um, I was trying some wishes on uh, a purple pur pur girl. I don't, I don't remember her name. And I was told that it's not a wise move in my current state of the world because there are some materials needed on her level up which I will not get soon enough in order for her to be successful companion of my team. Which is understandable considering the fact that I needed to go to Liyue to collect some silk flower for Xingxiu. So yeah, that's the reason basically why I stopped uh, that wishing. Uh, though I don't have a lot of those... Uh, uh, what's, the, what's the name? Something blue, something. Yeah, I forgot. Never mind. Um, so um, let's skip that. Um, long story short, uh, I got the advice from my senpai to try like ten or 20, 20 pool, which I assume is this thing uh, here, uh, just to see if I'll be lucky enough for. Uh, the character but don't overdo it which i don't know what it means because uh those uh two um I, I i don't remember the phrasing but i will not probably want them as much as i think i do right now um is it something that uh this uh proper viking shoot maiden uh she's a good shield uh I do not currently play with, with shields, so um, and there are there are better shields in the game. So I was just like, okay. And those those Greek girl, uh, Greek dress. She's she she told me she's fine, but she's more um, supporter for animo characters. And it, 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 the conversation became quickly too complicated for me to actually give it care. So I did not. <laughs> uh, sometimes I function in a way. Uh, I read a story about the guy uh, who was um, who was deaf, and he had this uh, mechanical device uh, on the, on the ear. And uh, sometimes when he did not enjoy what the people around him was, uh, which which helped him to hear. And sometimes when the people when the people were talking about something he did not like, or in, they were arguing, or you know, I uh, mean obnoxious, uh, attacking him with some arguments or something, he just turned the, turned the device off and suddenly he was deaf again. And I kind of like that story, and I think my brain sometimes works like that as well. Because, like, reading those instructions um, on how to go to the super simple challenge of flying around on the designated path, um, I kind of lost it in the, in the third. I just remember, okay, blue, bad, red, boom, collect the yellow, and then I gave up. And my brain is just like, ah, you don't need that. Yeah, so anyway, uh, I am thinking I would just do a 10 and I'm supposed um, <laughs> I'm supposed to uh, wait for a gold cover, which is uh, symbolic because um, I have a golden hair in a game. So uh, anyway, let's do it. Is it gold? No, it's not. Okay, we got a sword. Hey, we got coming. coming. Okay. I'm a guard from the communications office. The, so the guy on multiple caffeine drugs. Uh, right? No, no. You grab a seat and have some tea. I'll get these packed up for you, no problem. It'll only take me a minute, then we can get the delivery scheduled. 
Oh, and if you ever want to book a wushou dance, me and my crew are available in a heartbeat. The troop's called the Mighty Mythical Beasts, and I'm the head. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, he. Uh, but he is on a T, not the coffee. So, like, the T is half your variant, uh, more or less. Okay, I have some more sword and sword and sword and uh, I don't know, book and a bow and a book and a book and a sword. Okay. So those two are new, we already had all this. Um, Master of Stardust, which is cool, I guess. Okay, one more? One more? Should I do one more? I don't know. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Will it be golden? Is it golden? I don't know. Oh, hello. But I already got her. What, what's happening now? Okay, sword. I remember first, first wish. I was like, "Oh, that's a green sword. It was cool. It's so mighty, right?" And it's not. It's three stars. <laughs> it's complete garbage. <laughs> uh, okay, some blue. I I think we can skip those blue things, right? Right, right. Okay. Ah, so we did got something. Convert. Now, uh... okay, let's do five more. I think it will be like the end. Ooh. as well okay never mind so there was 25 wishes of nahida and there's an exclamation mark i don't like exclamation marks no, 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 no. and stop oh okay so you can have like uh one two three four five six yeah, six copies of same character which Breastplate's healing. Okay. Okay. Activate it, why not? Um, what's this? So you, you, you have like six copies that's uh, helping your character to be more powerful, right? And then what happened next? Okay, there's still exclamation mark. Why? Oh, hello. Okay, um, a cool animation do some Kung Fu style or something. Uh, a supposed traditional Chinese mask. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's kind of dark. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, will your exclamation mark will go away? Yes, it will. Okay, uh, that's it. That's uh, all for today. Um, some Lantern Rhine story quest. One challenge. And 25 wishes, which did not bring what we wanted. <laughs> and now I'm sad. I think that's the reason why uh, it's it's a gambling because uh, you, if you want the character, you need to you need to carry on, you need to you know, gather more, and then you have your character. I don't know if like if I like it's part of the game. Never mind. Uh, so that's all for today. Uh, thank you for joining me, and. Uh, Hope you, I'll see you next time.